Snestruck. Welcome back to Triumphant Music with Snestruck playing Secret of Mana. Uh, I didn't want you, the v viewing audience, to miss out on the stirring trip to the grocery store. Uh, yeah, you always want to reload on candy anytime you get. Uh, you get a shitload of gold for beating that uh, tiger. So we want to buy lots of chocolate and buy lots of candy. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, we'll meet you outside. Whoa, three music changes there. Oh, now you're coming along? I see how it is. <laughs> like, the fa like the face he makes. We want to get our weapons back in order with the bow and arrow. Actually, I think I'll put the whip on her now that I think of it. That's the best weapon. Um, it It's useful. I think it does a little bit more damage. I don't know. It's pure speculation. I just like the whip better. Really, it's totally subjective. Um, you do always want to have one uh, long-range weapon equipped on one of your party members. Oh, this is a, such a pain in the ass. We're trapped on the other side. You have to hit select to switch. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you have to make sure everybody gets around. Come on. Plus, I just like how the whip sounds in this game. Just very satisfying sound. I didn't do a very good impression there, but... Any treasure? Perhaps some gold? Candy won't fit. Got too much. So anyway, yeah, we gotta go to the Water Palace and see what the hell's going on with uh, Luca. And uh, something tells me it has to do with a certain, um, what do you call it? A uh, certain mage, I guess? Sorceress of some kind? And my brother and I used to laugh at her name, and I'll explain when we get there. Hey, what are these bees doing here? Were they here before? I don't remember. I it was just these raccoon guys and bats. So yeah, anyway, I own... Uh, like I said, my brother bought this game when I was a kid. Um, he probably was like 15 and I was like 10. He insisted, it was his idea that we keep the boxes, we keep the instruction books, and we keep them in absolute mint condition. I don't know if he had the idea that, like, oh, they're going to be worth a lot. I think he just liked having stuff and liked having stuff in nice condition and we can, like, you know, like having a, a record, um, a vinyl record. It's like a package. It's like, it's like when you buy a record, you don't throw away the sleeve or at least treat the sleeve like shit. Um... And it's, sadly, it seems some people did do that with Super Nintendo games where they just threw the box out. So now the boxes are, like, rare and shit, and it's just, that's not right. Oh, you know what? I got her name wrong. Undyne. I'm thinking of another game. Never mind. I thought it was Medina. I don't remember what Medina is from, but there was a, there was a club in... Oh, yeah, we gotta go save her. Um, there's a... Turn off the stairs before you leave. Um, there's a club in uh, Minneapolis, or at least there was, called Medina, way back in the day. And um, they always hosted, like, the shittiest over-the-hill 80s hair metal bands. Like, like I used to listen to a lot of uh, radio, hard rock radio, in the early 90s when I was a kid. And because um, I loved Guns N' Roses, I loved uh, Metallica. Um, ah, I did not mean to do that. Fuck. Um, and they and of course they'd always try and shoehorn in these other bands like uh, Warrants and Poison and um, even the really shitty bands that like had like one hit song like Slaughter or like. Uh, um, 
What's that other band called? L.A. Guns? Or uh, the Bullet Boys? Like Rats. I think Rats a little better than those bands, personally, but they were always advertised. And it was always like, this Sunday at the Medina, it's Warrants with Slaughter, and I did not mean to do that. Shit. Having trouble with entrances. We need to move forward. Perhaps that will help our cause. Yeah, I don't remember what Medina is from. Oh, well. Undyne. Hmm. Yeah, these fish give you mad levels. Thwacked. Now, this coming up is a very goofy boss fight. Yeah, what the hell is this thing? Oh. It's a little... Looks like a miniature whale that's very happy to exist. It's bouncing around like a little thing. It looks like a dog toy for some reason. Probably squeaks when you squeeze it. Yeah, this is all you do. You just hack the shit out of this thing and it, it's basically like one of those chairs where it, it moves kind of unpredictably until it turns into this dinosaur thing somehow. And this thing is pretty easy. You just stand um, diagonally from it. So uh, it doesn't get you with its tongue. If you stand perpendicular to it, above it, or right next to it, you know, um, it'll get you with its tongue, and that's how it does damage. You want to stand always in diagonal. Of course, I can't really control what my partners do, but this is what this is how you uh, beat the guy. See, the whip is. Oh, I did not. I was sloppy. You got to switch to her and, and hit him. And uh, I better take uh, a chocolate. Anyway, yeah. So I still have the box and book for this game, and all the like the little advertisements that came with it, the cartridge itself, all in really great shape. But um, really, the collecting aspect of it is um, I never really got too into that myself, like. Buying a game like uh, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy just for the sake of having it, even though I own Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden 2 for NES, like that is pointless. And even and some people will give me shit for this, but even Donkey Kong Country 3, I own Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, but I don't own 3 because I don't really like 3 that much. So I don't I don't own games I don't like and I don't want to play. It's that simple. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy is the biggest offender of that. That game is like $120, and it's the biggest waste of money because the NES versions are much, much better. The sound is better. The music is better. Let's see if I can whack this guy here. There we go. And the SNES ports are just bad. They're just bad. <coughs> There are a few other games like that, too. Like, um... You know, Aero Fighters is another really expensive one. That's a decent... That's a good game. And it's got great multiplayer support. There's no slowdown. But, I mean... There's other games that support that. Hey, I got an orc for the glove? Glove. Wow. Very serious music here. Damn. Hey, it's Undyne. We're standing to her left for some reason. Love this music, it's great. Do a fist pump, Penny. You got magic. Do a dance, Clyde Doug. Hey, what about me? Ah, oh, that's a cop out. Uh huh. So kind of like in Chrono Trigger, right? Even though this game was first. Actually, not at all like Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger uh, Ice Sword is way cooler. This, I think... In fact, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the Ice Sword thing here turns the enemy into a snowman. Anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at... Uh, yeah, you just... Uh, scroll up on your your wheel of, of things here and you can see all you get usually get three different spells for each thing 
and we'll check those out next time. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.